Gay man walking. Uh, I'm gonna put my bear spray into my pocket here. So now that I have bear spray there, I feel a little bit better, which is great because I'm going into a trail that's less maintained with less people and it's more alpine-y. <laughs> Thank God I was looking up because I almost walked straight into that. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Horse fight doesn't know, it has no idea that it's on the road. Anyway, that means also no one's really walked by here in a long time, so. Oh, hey gloves, what's up gloves? Oh my God, I'm here. Oh, I think this is, oh my God, I literally think that's it. Or I think, I'm adding a question mark to everything. How about we go in together for a minute? No, that's not it, that's not a trail. But I feel like I'll try the road first. Okay, well it's turning into less and less of a road. I just realized that I could check the map. This map's so funny, instead of saying how many kilometers each marker is, in terms of like distance on the trail, it says how many hours. <laughs> but every person walks so differently. I've never seen a trail map like that and it's like actually making me like smile on the outside and the inside because I'm like, oh, it, it's just like this cute group of people like made it and we're like an hour by hour. Foxglove, oh my God. Oh wow, I'm high on life and elevation. I guess the elevation makes the pine trees smaller and there's no moss on anything. Okay guys, so there's, there's um, piles of rocks here and I think, I mean, this is the only trail that's here that I know of. I walked two seconds down and look, <laughs> that others may live. Oh, that's so funny, search and rescue, represented by a, like a, a <laughs> really muscular mountain goat. It just, it's so much more overgrown. I don't know, it, maybe I'm thinking it's different because I'm assuming it will be, but it's really not too far from the ocean, but I feel like I'm higher in the sky, which I am because of science and going up. Finally, a hill that goes down, down downhill. I almost forgot what it's called because I haven't done it in so long. Okay, so I think you can definitely hear logging because uh, this is a logging area which I was like, ugh, until I realized, oh, that probably keeps the bears away. Guys, I can't stop thinking about them. I don't, I'm starting to realize it's not irrational because I actually don't know how irrational it is to, th to assume a bear might come for me. Like, I don't know, I have no statistics. All I have is people at my job saying, you'll be fine, but that's, that's I don't know how that, how that makes sense because if they've just all been fine, but they're all alive. You don't need to collect the dead people to tell you, well, you might not be. Oh, gee, it looks like Sauron turned into a tree stump. Whoa, okay, my heart is throbbing in my head. I just realized that I'm, because I've been thinking so much about the trail, I drink two coffees a day, and I've only had one, and it's like after my coffee time. So I'm gonna have a coffee. Maybe that's what'll keep me going. Honestly, how sad is it that I wouldn't be able to do this without caffeine? Like, am I actually a fast hiker, or is it just I'm an addict? using all the energy I'm given for my... I don't want to think about that. Okay, bye for now. Oh, guys, it's my first forest toad. Hey, little buddy. Wish I could just be dependent on the earth beneath me, not have to carry a bag and just bounce around from A to B. Kind of do, but with a backpack. Mom, I've spotted a flower. You might know, I don't know it, but uh, it's the first flower like this I've seen, or really one of the few in the whole in the whole neighborhood. <laughs> There's a stick in my shoe. <gasps> oh my god. That was a grouse. Oh, that reminds me of England. There's so many. Oh, yes. 
I feel less lonely. Oh my god. There are what looks like fresh paw prints of an animal here. And it's made them in the last day. That's no good. <laughs> okay, this is the most random thing, but my friend Beck, hey Beck, we met on the Teavaroa. She just wrote a post once about like, she's thankful to not have to say hey bear anymore when she's going around corners in the Rocky Mountains. And it made me think, oh my God, yeah, that's a good way to like, kind of put a positive spin on it. Cause if you run into a bear, you run into a bear. So saying hey bear kind of scares it away, but also you're greeting it. I just added a twist and I went, hey bear, you're an all-star, get your game on. And I just wanted to share that with you. I think I just found something weird and or dope. Thank you for the direction and also the phallic symbol. I guess at once this was gonna be a hut. Oh uh, yeah, I'm guessing so. Or maybe they're just in the process of building it. Cool, I guess you can hang your food there. Oh, you could camp here. But I don't think I would because that's by your tent and also a bear can just go. I mean, if I can go like this. And I've eaten all your Mars bars and so could a bear, right? This is some of the most pleasant walking I've ever done. Uh, my back's feeling a bit painful, but I mean, physically the walking, like everything's really dry, except for my feet. I don't know why this is so pleasant. <sighs> That's so spectacular. That's where I'm staying? Well, beside it? Oh my god. There's a crystal for bad juju. Water? What, dishes? There's three squares of, oh, that's not chocolate. That is spooky, spooky stuff. Oh my god, sweet assorted famous English biscuits. Donation box. Okay, so e-transfer donations are welcome. Send to, okay, 100%. Yeah, this is like you just like put your tent on here. Holy crow. There's another hut. Oh, that's the outhouse. I am so privileged. Thank you, Kludak Trail Association. I will be emailing you money. I will be thanking you personally on social media or whatever in person. I will meet you, Brittany and Sandra and Mark. I'm assuming those are maybe your names. This has been such a great day, a very long one. I feel like I've been so good, that, like crossing fingers and toes right now when I say that this trip. Oh. Hey, just bedazzling myself. Oh, no, that doesn't really work. Guys, uh, so a couple people came to the hut, which is cool. They have two dogs and they gave me some alcohol. But anyway, gonna have my three squares of chocolate. <laughs> nope. Uh, good night and happy end of day four to everyone. Kidding, just me, bye. Morning. It's day five of my Juan de Fuca and Kludak adventure. It's day two of my Kludak adventure. It is day 6,346 of my life. And I'm wiping a chair. Action shot. I'm gonna sit on that chair and read some book and look at a bog. <laughs> the guys have a floating water bag, which is amazing because it's floating magically without them even using Wingardium Leviosa. Like, I don't know how they did it, but they did it. And I'm about to have a wrap, an apple, one cup of coffee, and then right before I go, oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with the water bag, so I had to go back to it. Uh, another cup to keep me going, because I feel like if I drink all my coffee and eat all my food and use all that energy for this, for reading Sue Perkins' autobiography, then I won't be using it on the trail, which I'll regret. Also, the guy Kevin yesterday noticed that when he picked up my sock that fell, he's like, oh, these are cold in their shape. And I just want to show you that this is a true hiker sock, which I don't care that I'm touching, but the end is so solidified with gunk and sweat. Anyway, the guys, yes, there were two guys yesterday who showed up, but their names are Ben and Kevin, and they're just really nice guys who brought two dogs. Ben's like, you've talked about bears three or four times. They're like, Ross, you're probably gonna run into a bear on this island, and it's not gonna do anything. Just leave it alone, make some noise, and carry on with your trail. And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> also, when I saw the two dogs come around the corner yesterday first, when I was sitting at the hut and the guys came, I realized, oh, the paw prints I saw were dog prints.
Guys, my first Kludak slug. Oh, uh, did you follow me from the lawn? What animal are we? This is so weird that I'm like this being that just like uses my eyes to absorb what is happening, like all my senses and just looks around and this is like what gives me what I need in life. Wow. Honestly, this is so wonderful, but it makes me realize how simple life would be to just be like a possum or something. I take it back, I like being a human. I don't know if those are just decaying pine cones, but this could be poo. I'm not completely convinced I want to see a bear to get over seeing a bear. Oh, this is Noise Lake this way. Oh wow, I think I'm at the cabin. That's so fast. Oh God, this is worth sharing even though there's 700 horseflies everywhere, but I'm entering an area called Cougar Kill. Cougar kill. <laughs> okay, so you can actually go on a canoe ride. That's so cool. Here, just take her out. Go for a rip there, are you bud? There's Noise Lake Cabin. Okay, just gonna get there and take my bag off, eat my lunch, wait half an hour and see how I feel. This place is so nice. This is called Noise Lake Cabin. Or if you're from Australia, fucking Noise Mate Cabin. Spooky poles hit by a ghost. A saw. All right, well, the shoes have come off, so I think the decision is made. Don't know why I sat on this. This is precarious. Okay, first of all, look at all these fucking legs. So I'm gonna take a day off tomorrow. I'm probably gonna take it off here. Okay, so I'm going to go now down to the water for two seconds until a horse fly comes to me, but I am wearing armor now enough dyed wool that I feel like a sheep at pride. Hey Ace! Who's? Who's that? Oh, who are, okay. Come here. Look at you with your huge wings. <laughs> this view with like a track of some guy playing an acoustic guitar in the background in the middle of a hiking video on YouTube it's probably the most common thing I see. So I think I'm actually gonna play some Wu-Tang in the background of this one, just to balance it out. Something is happening, but I've been here for five hours and I've eaten my meal. I am going to check out the canoe to see if it has a paddle, because I might do something crazy, which is go for a canoe ride when I don't even remember the last time I did that. And I just don't really do water sports or like them. Okay, well I guess... Okay, there's no paddle under there. Can I use a shovel? Okay, I guess I'll look underneath. Oh my God, I found them. They're underneath the house. I can't, I can't with how easy that was. Slash this is, until I uh, tip it. One time I tipped our electric canoe, I'm sorry, Grandpa. I think I'm supposed to be lower, let's see. I don't think this works. I don't know why I don't like this so much. I like it right now, but I don't know why I don't think about it. Ooh, I'm turning into the reeds. Ugh. Oh man, yeah, that was a really nice canoe trip. Uh, I enjoy that and now I'm standing weirdly at a door and if I didn't have a camera this would just be odd <laughs> like a film from, scene from a horror film. Anyway, uh, good night everybody and goodbye day five. Good morning. Um, it's day, well, I don't want to say what it's day six because it, well, it technically is, but I'm actually going to take a day off today. The funny thing is, is that that 
No, the yes, helicopter is touring what I have deemed the quietest part of this island. All right, here's our life update. My butt hurts because I've been sitting on that chair. My butt is the only part of my body that hurts, when generally speaking, it's the only part of my body that doesn't hurt after a long day of hiking. And uh, yeah, so I guess this whole beautiful day and sitting down is taking its toll on me. But I've just decided I kind of actually want to walk today. And I don't know if that's going to be like a mistake because it just hit like 1230. So it's going to be the next three hours going to be like the hottest. <laughs> and just like that, I'm off again. Peanut butter and jam wrap, raspberry jam to be specific. I'm a fruit, which means I am what I eat. OK, bye, Kevin. You've been great. I'm not capable of being still for that long. I kind of go stir crazy. Day six is actually for hiking. Oh, I just got a rush of like, yay, and then immediately like a, I looked behind me and I was like, by Noise Lake? Well, that's like the longest I've stayed somewhere and it's funny when you crunch everything down to percentages. That's the longest, even though it's only been a day, that's the longest time I've spent somewhere. Like the most percentage of my time. It's just so funny how everything is so much more extreme when you're on these trails. All the feelings, but I really, really like it. So thank you, Noise Lake Cabin and the Kludak Trail people for giving me all of what I felt for the past 24 hours. Okay, I'm coming off the Kludak Trail onto a, a forest road. Damn, cars need a lot of space, y'all. Danger, blasting area. Great. God, I feel like I should put that sign in the bathroom after I've had like two burritos. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that burns my hand. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe looking behind me is not a good idea. All right, I'm in a place called Defile. Yeah, after that, I certainly do feel that way. How do they make, how do they get bridge stuff in here? Oh, it's so skinny, I'm like bouncing left and right. Oh, Maywell's Bridge. Oh, it withstands snow. It was brought up from a helicopter. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yes, that's where I am. Cool. Oh, man. I came from in there. Gosh, it's so good for you as long as you're uh, hydrated, have food, don't have any injuries, don't have any real responsibilities back at home to over worry about, are okay with not having reception for six days, and have working appendages. Oh well, before I faint, I'm gonna keep going on. I really hope that this phallic symbol was here on purpose. Now it just looks like a really skinny elephant lying down. I don't know how. That's the sun talking for you. I've got to my first crossroads, literally crossroads, and I'm going to go this way because I have a feeling it's this way. Wow, this is real. I don't see anyone else's. Oh, there's a footprint. This feels really wrong. There's no one else's footprints here. So I'm gonna go backwards and see where I'm supposed to go. Up we go again. Ah, this island is bigger than I thought. <laughs> I mean, every time I Google map Victoria and zoom out, I'm like, whoa. But I guess seeing it is different than just looking at an image on a screen, which is what you're doing now, but look how big it is. This is wild. This road I'm walking on doesn't have any more footprints, but Oh, I see a footprint. Okay. All it takes is a footprint. And there's arrows pointing that way for for everyone going, um, I never eat shredded westbound. And they're, they're, where are the arrows at the other side? It's not a big problem. It's just kind of funny that um, that's the way it goes. And that's the way it... Nope, don't want to get sued by Celine Dion. Okay, Gilbert Creek. I'm so happy I went to that creek. Thank you, Gilbert. Wow. Uh, because I forgot that water is good for your face when you're hot. Oh, there's the rocks. Oh, that's so easy to see, but I'm very happy it's here. I was looking through the trees at the bottom of the hill and I saw this like blue square. And I kept looking at it, I'm like, oh man, that's such a blue square. Someone set up a tarp, I wonder what's happening. And then I'm five minutes into the walk and I don't see any tarp and I realized, oh, I was looking at the sky through a square in the trees. I'm not even surprised. I just thought I'd share that with you because I can't be the only one laughing at myself. I need other people here, please. The horse flies on this section have just been... Wait, holy... Okay, never mind. Goodbye. Okay, I just realized 
I'm that I'm gay enough to be able to spin my hiking poles like batons, like they do in the Olympics, and and get away all the fucking horse flies. All right, the trail is tapered off slightly. I still count that uphill as a taper. Taper? I barely know her. Oh, Amanda, that one's for you. All right, so I've been yelling hay bear a lot less today, which I'm like, oh, I'm slightly proud of myself not thinking about bears, but then I'm like, maybe the reason there haven't been any bears is because I'm yelling things? Is that me or is that an echo? Oh, both would be me. I'm by myself. Hey, tent platform. All right, so let's do a quick tour of this cabin. I'm in Blueberry Hill. Cheese grater, get your cheese and make it bougie. Is this Jewish nature? That's pretty cool. So, whoa, tea hut cabin, or tea hut, I should say, just hut, is um, two and a half kilometers away. So, with horse flies in mind, I'll be there in four minutes. What a lovely, wonderful, relaxing day off. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. My, um, I am in my, I'm using some stores inside my body right now. I wish there were some stores outside of my body that sold like vegetables, ranch dressing, pizza, and ice cream. But, oh my God, I gotta stop. Taco Bell, like seven things from Taco Bell. Oh my God, it's here. Oh my God, this is gonna be incredible. What in tarnation? I get it, horse flies. Let me go inside. Ah, I don't even want to say bye for a second. Hello. There's so much information. Yeah, apparently there's a nice camping platform here. All right, so I don't know exactly what I've just done. Oh, it's over there. But there's a but I don't know how to put a pen on a platform of wood with rungs in it. Anyway, I did my best. I learned about how to watch out for these bitches. Uh, actually, these are probably more dangerous deer because I, when I'm running in Victoria, they like pop out of nowhere and I'm like, Bleh. it's also so much information and my brain is not here. I tried reading, I was like, where am I? Nature, France? But then I started making pasta and I'm like, oh, okay, I need those nutrients. And we're on the top of something, so I don't know where I get to go, maybe this way, but probably this way in the back up and ooh. Get back in there. I've decided to come to horsefly territory with my bowl of precarious soup. Oh my god, this is so cute! Oh, this one. <laughs> Never mind the other one. Wet and cold feet borrow dry but unmatched socks. And this says snacks, not snacks, socks. Oh my, what? people are so wonderful. I don't care what anyone says. I don't even care what I say. People are great. I walked from, I guess from like here. Yeah, maybe there, all the way to, oh, whoa, all the way here. And then back, and then there, and then here. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Um, this is where I am to stay this eve. I'm just gonna do that. And hopefully a bee doesn't come inside of my bedroom. My bedroom. <laughs> there are mosquitoes everywhere I just saw. I just saw, I mean, I'm seeing right now. And I just realized I have like 15 bites on my back. So, good night world. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm not limp limping, I'm just trying the whole flip-flop sock thing. Well, trying as in I've been doing it for six days and have not successfully done it, but I'm still doing it. Anyway, what a great day. It was a nice day off, LOL. Wow, we are made of atoms and so is the sun, right? <laughs> Wait, is that only stuff that's on the planet? Oh well. Science, you got me again.
So do my flip flops. It's the morning and I'm in Tea Hut. Last night, my tent fly, which isn't pegged into the ground, uh, made a noise and I thought it was a cougar growling at me. But anyway, so it's kind of nice to be alone, but I'm looking forward to seeing some of my good friends who like already know me. I forgot this one thing on the trail is that you don't see people you know from before, ever. And if you do, maybe here it would be if they got served by me at Mac. All right guys, so for breakfast, I'm doing, this is mainly for my friend Jackie again. We should call this like the Jackie moment. This is kind of weird, but it's hummus that's been rehydrated, sugar snaps, whatever you call them, and just green onion that what's left. And I made some of my world infamous, because it's not great, well, it's too spicy. Ah, get out of my fucking food! <laughs> this is breakfast. Gonna go this way and look at that in the morning. Look at all that. Ooh, ooky spooky fog. Look at you spread out like a beautifully mixed lemon curd going into a pie crust. Okay, I'm gonna go now. It's day seven. Uh, what? Um, I could finish the whole hike today, but I'd be walking like 22 kilometers and it'd be a half on roads. So I'd actually be down to do that. The thing is, I don't have a ride back to Victoria and I don't really want to have to hitchhike today or take a bus. But the thing is, I would actually rather spend another day out here. So goodbye, Tea Hut. You've been literally so great. Thank you. Oh man. Okay. Uh, I ripped my tent bag pretty bad, guys. Whoop. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Alright, so it's 8 11 in the morning and I'm off. Oh, I have a grandmother named Marg. Margaret and she's Icelandic, and uh, this is named after her. Not really, but in my brain it is, so hey, Amma, what's up? Eco Reserve? What's that? Oh, you can't get there. Oh, Ecological Reserve. Oh, that's really nice. This whole area is cut off for education and just like learning about the world, so you can't go in there. Well, I was gonna stay on the trail anyway, Brenda. All right, found some more poo. It doesn't look that fresh, but it hasn't been stepped on a lot, so it's definitely fresh. I don't know what kind of animal it is, but I only have two more days of kind of semi having to worry about that. All right, I'm at Tower Hut. Let's see if anyone's here. Wow. Okay, I'm at a viewpoint. Oh, cool. So that's north. I know these things. I'm at a thing, I, I was gonna say, how are you supposed to use this for camping? But it's a helicopter landing pad. And oh, I do have some stories about people camping on those and that ending disastrously, so never do that. Oh, no one's here. It smells like weed. Mine trap, that's what I get into sometimes when I don't go in the woods a lot. Ambiguous bag of wood, crayons. So now I'm gonna go to Meadow Cabin. I'll probably be there in like two hours. Aw, hey, active beehive. What's up, active beehive? I have PTSD from getting stung by four wasps once on a trail within an hour, so no thank you. Except bees are doing wonderful things. If your bees stay forever. Excuse me, this is so funny. The name of this, whatever, this pond, doesn't even have pond on the sign, but it says David Hart, which are the names of two of my cousins. <laughs> this is where my aunt walked by and was like, all right, yeah, those are there's a couple good names in there. Oh shit. I think I may have left my iPod somewhere. <laughs> no, it's in my backpack. Yay, that would have been, that's the only time I think I've lost something, properly lost something. And I love that I was just accepting to go backwards because it's the easiest hour of walking, that's why. All right, nature fact with Ross Jackson. Here we go, let's see if this is right. So this is a tree. I don't know what kind it is, but up here is some lichen and the lichen grows on the entire tree until here. And, I'm, and I'm, I've always been like, why? Well, it turns out that that mark measures how high the snow gets in the winter plus extra elevation for all the animals that might be like on the snow, like rubbing the tree for doing their thing, like the horns of an elk or the claws of a cougar or a bear. Oh my God, thank God it's a tree and not me. Damn it, I knew it. I knew as it was happening, what was happening, but I just got stung by a bee. Fuck. 
Ah, there it comes. There's the pain. Woo, that's what you want. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. I was about to turn my camera on and say, wow, this is such an easy walk. I, the thing happened that I thought would happen, but oh, it was stuck on. <laughs> Oh, there goes part of my tent. It was stuck on this tree. Rest in peace, little guy. Okay, guys, I think I fixed it. I put a towel over the outside. Oh my God, okay, so I just passed two girls who were really funny and they were just like, wow, you're the only other person I've seen. And I was like, wow, yeah, there's lots of us randomly on this trail this past four days. So apparently this trail, even just having one person on it is busier than normal. Okay, so I could stay here for the night. What time is it? <laughs> this is I think I've done like 9K in two hours. It's literally 10, 11 in the morning. Let's see what you're about. We've got our magic chef who's here to cook me absolutely nothing. A crossword that's not even finished. It's literally 10 in the morning. Most days in Victoria, I don't even wake up by now and I've just finished a day of hiking for only two hours. How funny is that? I've had a very good time today, other than the bee sting, but that wasn't even that much of a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna walk to the end of the Kludak Trail tomorrow and then walk about 13 kilometers on uh, forest roads and then hitchhike to a restaurant, eat so much food, and then my friend, I'll message and tell her to pick me up there. Oh, by the way, that is the camping spot. I'm just double checking now to make sure they're not helicopter landing pads. And also the cabin's really nice, but there's these signs that say very strict rules about like calling in and ordering. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at you, beautiful flowers. But I just read this sign in here today and it says, uh, you can stay here uh, if you call, but you can also donate money if you like stop for lunch and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's a good idea because if you use the trail, maybe donating is a nice idea. A lot of what I do or a lot of what we do as walkers, I'm not gonna take advantage of this situation. I'm gonna go set my tent up and it's such a nice platform. So thank you, like I'm so thankful. Thank you for having these huts that we can stop at and thank you for implying that we can donate because I really want to. And it's so interesting how it's not just like this like structured thing. But I guess this whole world is kind of unstructured in its heart. What is your name? What is your name? Kludak Forest Service. Kludak Outdoors, Kludak Outdoors Club of Souk, BC. Thank you so much for this. You guys have done something special because I didn't expect this to be so well maintained. There was one point where there was literally a bog that the metal, well, it wasn't even metal, it was just a wood platform like this, ended and there was just a, obviously a tiny bit of water that anyone could have walked around or walked in because who the hell cares sometimes. But people, I guess members, had decided to get foliage from around and put it on there. And I stepped on it thinking, ooh, girl, is this a trap and I'm gonna fall down a hole? <laughs> but I did, I stood, I was like, this is literally here because people who walk on this trail a lot and use it and members and volunteers have done this. And to be honest with you, I think I move around so much that I've, I can't really stick to too many things. But if I was living on this island and, and this was my home, this would definitely be a calling for me as well. Time to do this now. I think I discovered something. If I put the tent poles in between the crevices and then I put this log on that, it kind of sinks in and gets stuck in between the panels and then the wood is heavier than the tent thing, the fly. So I think that works. So now I'm gonna go right back to reading John Cleese. This ant carrying this dead bee kind of represents me on my first through hike or my second one or my third, the New Zealand one, except make the bee the backpack. But also the only difference is the ant can carry three times its weight. I can carry about, at that time, 1%. Oh my God, this kid in the book has written, hiked in from the road and had really good burgers, May 17th. It's May 18, 19, and then 20th. The best part is on May 20th, they're pretty much in one sentence that is just a run on sentence. Well, not really, just one sentence uh, describes the kind of feeling you have when you're just like, yeah, I'm done. The trail, which is ate my Cheerios and drank my coffee, <laughs> ate my Cheerios and drank my coffee, and now I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I love it for two reasons, that a kid is drinking coffee and that Eating Cheerios and drinking coffee is what makes you like ready to leave the woods. Like I'm ready to go home now. <laughs>
Uh, I really want to picture that. I mean, I am picturing it, but I really want to like make that like the closing sentence. I've eaten my Cheerios, I've drank my coffee, and now I'm ready to go home. All right, guys, it is the morning of day seven. No, no, it's the morning of day eight. Yay, day eight. Wow, okay, I also realized that, um, okay, so nice sunny morning. The flowers are back. What's up, flowers? And I'm gonna walk with my indigestion, my water bottle, and my GoPro. That's my tent, just chilling over there. I see you, baby. And, um, I'm letting it dry in the sun. I've got my backpack in the hut behind me and now I'm walking to Y Lake. Anyway, so it's the last day of walking the Kludak Trail. This is the end of my Juan de Fuca and Kludak adventure. I realized the last three days I've been finishing at noon or only walking for like three hours, <laughs> which has actually been a hard three hours and I've like liked the break time, but it made me laugh because I was like, oh, I realized it's like literally pretty much what I've done over the last three days is what I could have done in just one day. Now I'm walking one kilometer to Y Lake, and then I'll walk one kilometer back, pick up my backpack, and then I'm done. Oh my God, this is the end. Oh, look how the snow's affected this tree. Okay, no lie, it feels extremely weird to not have my backpack right now. I think I'm, walk I'm walking faster, definitely, but also I'm not walking <laughs> so much faster. So I realized the hiking poles make up for the weight of the backpack when you're walking, I guess. I feel like I'm doing something like I'm cheating on my backpack. You left without me. And it'll be a whole thing. I thought it'd be easier to just run through the cobwebs today instead of just lightly walking through them. Oh my God, that was a mistake. I'm glad I filmed that. So you all know how to not do what I just did. I don't even have my backpack on. I think it's because I'm not used to walking without my backpack. It, my backpack may have balanced me out but I just tripped on this and fell into that creek. My bush I damaged and I'm covered in water, but then I got to this road and I like right, I bounced like right into it. I'm like, now which way do I fucking go? What's up, Froggy McGee? I'm also at an outhouse and an actual gazebo. I kind of just realized I could have camped here. Hello. This is amazing. So you're gonna hang your bear food there. <laughs> I mean, not your bear food. Well, it will be bear food if they have anything to do with it. And a full gazebo at the fire pit. And the most important outdoor essential, the cutting board. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's paddles. <laughs> oh, a thousand cobwebs. Wow. My God. Well, I'm done the Kludak Trail. That's crazy. So again, thank you to the Kludak Outdoors Club for making this possible. Like it's like, crazy. Apparently there's a hundred volunteers. You guys do so much work. And um, God, yeah, I know I have like in my mind, I can see myself doing this one day. So you might find me volunteering and putting some branches on puddles for people. That was the fucking cutest part. Okay, anyway, this frog is yelling at me, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Almost swallowed a mosquito. It's all part of it. Extra proats. Wow, and just like that, I'm back at the cabin. Oh, okay, so it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm leaving again. I've eaten my Cheerios, I've drank my coffee, and now I'm ready to go home. God, yesterday I was just kind of like waiting for today. Bye, Y Lake, time to exit. Oh, I'm not on the clue deck anymore. But anyway, I get to walk on forest roads. Oh, I forgot to look at the map. Okay, so yeah, definitely logging road gonna be here because this looks like freshly plucked. I wasn't gonna film this, but this keeps happening. But the metal rungs are catching my poles and not letting me go. Oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> Trail, you want me to stay? No, I'm busy. Yay! Sports! All right, I looked at the map and I kind of used the creek to decipher which way to go and I hope this is right. <laughs> well, I've got up the hill and it ends. <laughs> okay, well, 
<laughs> wow, I don't know how to read maps. Yay, I was about to say, I love road walking, it's so tranquil, except I'm literally listening to so much Katy Perry and singing it. I honestly have no idea where I am. Or where I'm supposed to go. Oh, is this the road? Okay, Katy Perry, pause. Oh, looks like there's a car coming. Maybe you can tell me where to go. That's hilarious. Okay, bye for now. <laughs> Thanks. I don't even know what to say. I'm listening to Katy Perry's birthday. I just stopped and these guys named Paul and Isaac, so nice, um, gave me uh, a roast beef sandwich. We had a chat for like 10 minutes and they arrived at the perfect time because now I know like which way to walk or like dance walk to a Katy Perry song. All oh, right, yeah, so I'm actually where I'm supposed to be. I'm eight kilometers left on the North Main, so that didn't make sense, but <laughs> you kind of understand what I I'm just where I'm supposed to be. Goodbye for now. <sighs> this is gonna be a theme. Ironically, I was just listening to a song called See the Sun by Dido and I cannot anymore. <laughs> Turn that into some maps for me and please give them to me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's because he thinks I'm sexy. Ugh. Fuck, I forgot to breathe. Through, <laughs> through the fog, it's so beautiful. Oh my God! <laughs> I haven't seen the ocean in so long! Oh, Bryony and Phoebe, this one is for you. Uh, I'm listening to I Wanna Know What Love Is by Mariah Carey. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm so happy I'm here, I miss this so much. I cannot with this. I never know what to say when I'm finished these things, but all I can say is that I'm happy, very happy that I did this. I'm so proud of myself, but not, but you know what, fuck it. I'm very, really proud of myself. I love when people tell me how amazing they find their lives and how incredibly happy they are with what they've chosen to do because humans aren't like that all the time. So you kind of have to grasp onto those moments, for me at least, to get me through all the other stuff you muddle around in. So I'm proud that I'm here doing this, like that I actively participate and trusting myself and liking myself enough to kind of do this. When you face so much, ad so much adversity in life and there's so many more obstacles as a marginalized person in the society uh, that I have to face, but so does everyone in terms of mar people being marginalized. So it's easy to think that you don't deserve this kind of stuff, but I don't know, for me it's like, we only have one little life and we're all gonna die and rot in the ground, in my mind, for at least for me. Y'all do whatever you want after, but that's okay with me because it makes me just like wanna sink my teeth into what's around me here. So I'm really happy that I've done this. Uh, it almost feels so normal. Also, thank you to everyone who like helped me or you know, if you're watching these journeys because I just really like sharing and I also love when people share with me in terms of stories and food. So <laughs> those two things are great. But um, yeah, the Wanda Fuca was so wonderful. It was a lot less busy than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, maybe that's because I started on a Tuesday and it was harder, it was really tough. And there's like families out there. I was probably the only solo, there were a couple solo people I met, but majority of people were in groups. And I don't know. I've just learned so much and I probably won't realize it until later, but I think the best thing you can do in life for me, the best thing I can do in life is just like try to live most authentically as possible. I mean, I'm still making so many mistakes left, right and center and I let myself down sometimes, but this just makes me go like, okay, if I can do this, oh, I just, I don't know how to explain it, but it's more like life is always just gonna be problematic and I have a tendency to look at the darker side of things a lot too and, and let that take over me, but doing this kind of stuff is almost like um, weapons I use against that. So it's it always is like a good memory book to flip through when I'm feeling so kind of low. And then when I jump back into it, it's like, oh, this works for me. But I think the only reason I found out this works for me is because of so many times just giving myself all that space to breathe and like trying hundreds of different things. I'm lucky to find it at a young age, but at the same time, like 
you have to give yourself all that freedom. Otherwise, no one's gonna give it to you. It's, it's weird, I don't know. I'm just very lucky and very happy, so yay! And I still have more to film probably, because there's a divergence here and I have no idea which way to go. Oh my god, I'm literally the, at the end. What is the, what is the, where do I go? <laughs> so frustrating. I've decided to go down the other way for no reason other than it was straight on from where I was before and it goes down and there's the ocean. Don't know if this is logical, but the other option kind of veered off to the left, so. Just realized the other road was really paved and, ah, fuck it. Yay, I am on the right way. That says North Main one kilometer, y'all. Woo, okay. Ah, the fabled dirt bikers who aren't allowed on the Kludak Trail. At least they have something to do around here. Ugh, include give, give dust to my eyeballs. Oh man, this is so great, but I am keen for like, oh my God, food. I think I see the end. <gasps> is that a deer? The only, really the only big animal I've seen this entire time and it's a fucking deer. Oh, it's gone. Hey girl. Th thank you. She's clapping for me now that I finished the trail. Where's my red carpet? Eight days doesn't, didn't seem like that much before, but it is, that is a long amount. Check your load. Okay, do I have my binders, brakes, tires, and, and load? Yeah, 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 I guess so. Oh, so I'm at the Juan, I'm at the Juan de Fuca Provincial Park China Beach Campground entrance, like literally right at the entrance. That's so perfect. Okay, well, I'm gonna stand here and hitchhike my life away. Okay, well, I'm done. Try Juan de Fuca, oh my God. That's the trail I did, obviously. <laughs> I got picked up by a wonderful woman and now I'm at Shirley Delicious. Look, someone made me something. Thank you, Shirley. I know that's not who I'm really thinking, but you're the best. Fuck, I inhaled that coffee. I've ordered a veggie something. Just veg. I would like some vegetables, please. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> a really nice woman named Anya picked me up. Thank you, Anya from North Vancouver, if you ever see this. I'm so happy, but I'm so tired in the best way possible. Oh, I love life. And I've had a lot of time to decompress and I feel so good. I can't stop smiling, but I just can't wait to get showered. My friend Lily's gonna be here soon. So eight days of this. Well, no, not this. I just ate cheese and vegetables that someone else cooked for me. But I, I really, I can't wait to do another one. So very content with myself. And uh, thank you, Shirley Delicious, because you are literally your name. That joke has probably been made a thousand times, but I'm too tired. Hey girl, using my videos. <laughs> Lily walking to Ross to hug him. <laughs> oh, I... oh. Sorry, you might have to like, oh my God, you smell so good. <laughs> okay, say bye, because this is the end. Um, I love you, thank you, uh, thanks for watching. Okay, bye, love you. Oh my God, I'm home. Time to go melt into my bed. Bye everybody. Hello, it's Ross here. As you probably already know, you just watched me talk in the woods about my emotions for a while. Anyway, if you liked that, you can subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and friends. And also you can head over to itsrossjackson.com for more content. Thank you for watching, bye.